So Captains, we know that the A320neo family is extremely successful. Launched all the way back in December 2010, the Neo family has seen incredible success with more than 6,000 orders placed by various airlines and even surpassing the 737 MAX family by around 2,000 orders. Now, a majority of these orders are placed for the A320 and the A321neo, whilst the A319 is struggling behind with only 56 orders. Regardless of this though, it's still considered as a successful program. But one plane which hasn't seen the limelight is the A318neo. It's a plane which is rarely talked about, and although there is a market for the plane, it's a very sparsely populated one, and not enough for Airbus to justify making the Neo version of the plane. Now if you think about it, the A318 is built on the same line as its bigger brothers, using most of the same parts, and there's no reason why Airbus couldn't offer it. For example, the 767-200ER was built on the same line as the 767-300. But for years, Boeing couldn't sell any of the planes because the 300ER was simply more efficient than the 200ER. And this is essentially the same case for the A318. In the eyes of Airbus, it was considered a failure. Some planes were even used for parts when they were only a few months or years old. Now in terms of the design philosophy, anything smaller than the A319 from Airbus based on the A320 family design is just way too heavy. A fuselage size of the A318 used for heavy long range versions never scales down too well. However, an A318neo can be utilized as a great VIP jet, but the certification cost may not be worth it for 20 or 30 planes that Airbus might sell. Now, although Airbus has sold 67 of the A318 planes, it doesn't mean that it will sell another 60 of the A318neos. For example, the A319neo has even less orders as of now. Now we know that reducing the size of the fuselage will reduce the price only slightly, but the operation and the maintenance costs will be the same as compared to the A319 and 20 for example. This makes the economics of such a plane worse if you consider the low revenues generated. Now, in my opinion, I don't think there would be a good enough incentive on Airbus developing the A318neo, given that the larger A319 hasn't sold so well. However, if airlines demanded Airbus to pursue the project and they were assured that they would gain a large amount of orders, then they could possibly change their mind. Other than that, I don't see it happening. And a great example of the usage for the A318 would be British Airways with the London City to New York route. Now, due to the aircraft range limitations, it has to land in Shannon, fill up its fuel tanks, and then depart once again. Given that only a few customers have ordered the A318, and there have been hints from airlines to replace their planes, a good replacement aircraft would be something like the A220-100. The plane can carry an all-premium cabin of 40 seats, and it has the range to fly to New York without stopping. It also delivers great economics, and it's an area of the market that Airbus are really trying to utilize as best as they can. So putting it simply, shortening successful planes isn't enough to make an economical aircraft when there are planes that are specifically made for the missions which are required to be done by the airlines. So guys, that's my opinion on why Airbus have decided to ditch the A380neo and instead focus on the regional planes like the A220s. There's much more to gain from the market instead of investing in a plane that nobody really wants. Now I'm curious to read if you guys think the same. If you do, share what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe guys, and I'll see you very soon.